totally use the gun control bottle drop 2024 hashtag on Instagram. Let's go. Okay, we're doing it one more time. This here is Mando's uh, work in progress, and I really love where this is going. I hope you finish it, Mando. But let's take a look at all the other biddies, all the other, all the other ones that we've got going on. Let's go straight to the start, the start mission start, and let's get this overview, ball drop overview, one more time. Mission start. Well, here we go. This is actually last year's, and we had 13 entries last year. This year, we actually had in excess of 20. We had about 21 to 22 entries, which is remarkable. Uh, so, so that's a thing. I hear that Joe guy has a great smile. Oh, so handsome. So handsome. Ball drop 2024. Let's go. This time around, we could do more than just a ball you could use any model you wanted so long as it had a festive theme and everyone kind of interpreted that in their own way which is really really cool and here's joe's entry an sd master gundam if i'm not mistaken with the green paint job and the red i was mentioning how the red of the ribbons kind of nicely complemented the clear red and i love this tree joe can i just say that this tree is super adorable <laughs> over here on the back we also have uh the ribbon i definitely wanted to show off the back ribbon there because uh, it wouldn't be visible from the front a lot of folks were very complimentary of how you pulled off that background too using uh an app of some kind but yeah good job joe and again, guys, we're kind of doing the speed run if you want to see the more fuller overview of everyone's work uh, that's on the VOD. And again, it'll be a YouTube video. Here we have Effie's work, or Ephrus. Uh, this is a tree with LEDs. I believe it's ceramic or made out of porcelain. And then uh, Effie proceeded to cut the tip of it, just the tip, and put the clear Haro I believe that Joe used this, made this Haro kit previously, and I think uh, um, Effie kind of excluded all the internal stuff and just used the clear uh, external shell of it and then crammed a bunch of LEDs into it. Very nice job. Very cozy, right? Very cozy and comfy. Shout out to Effie. Good job. Joe, he was like, I, it needs something. It needs something. And here's Keenan's work. Very nice. We were just talking about the SD Sazabi, uh, uh, and Sazabi's in general, sorry, SD kits in general. I think we had two or three of them uh, entered this year, which is really neat. Uh, just a great, it's a more fun kind of opportunity to do something wacky, right? So, so uh, the choice of green and red, again, very festive here. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this is Keenan's first kind of like custom paint job. Uh, so very nice from Keenan. And once again, guys, I, I want to stress that please check out the Instagram. Please check out the Twitch if you're not following them already. Uh, for all of these folks, this is something that's really important to me is getting that community together and, and, and seeing each other's work and getting to know each other more than just simple content consumption. Do you know what I'm saying? There's real people behind this work. Yay, Keenan. Yeah, <laughs> there's real people behind this work. Doku Chaotic is yelling me for not doing this. But I mean, you guys had a lot of stuff on your plate already. Like uh, Doku, of course, uh, you know, uh, totally understandable. Here we've got Evil Mike or Gunpla Mike's ball, which I believe is the only ball entry to the Gunpla Ball Drop 2024. Of course, last year we had a number of balls, uh, balls all over the place. But a really nice finish here with the green and the green and the red obviously very a subtle kind of nod to the festive theme but very effective and and how the dark metallics are underlying all of it thus making those brighter colors stand out and pop out more very nice job from uh gunpla mike old type really loves that one and here's another shot of the full thing very good job very cool here we have Bacon's uh, tremendous work, which uh, again, uh, often was trying to downplay his own efforts here. Uh, he was like, oh, you know, it's 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 all pre-made diorama stuff. And I'm like, dude, you made two models, metallic finish, uh, 
water slide decals, LEDs, a diorama base. Let's not let's not let's not be too humble here. You gotta you gotta say that shit with your chest. I did that. That's the new theme for this year is I did that. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to Bacon, excellent job. Uh, Keenan, just so the props people use. Yeah, it's a it's a nice kind of way to like accent uh, uh, the build and kind of create like a a, a different kind of feeling and atmosphere. <laughs> Bacon, I did this. I did this simple and humble build. I am but a simple builder. Meanwhile, he finished this before everyone else, and then he was able to play video games for the rest of the holidays. Very jealous of that. So yeah, shout out to Bacon. Good job. This is Adam. Adam actually had entered this to some other competitions, but he wanted to also include this as part of the Gunpla Ball Drop. Um, fantastic work here. Very clean, very nice uh, combination of different models, but also feeling very nicely integrated, if I may say so. And also, uh, Adam used some nice kind of diorama uh, uh, materials for the base, including some weathering uh, closer to the foot, a very nice touch. Adam here is, I want to say, a little newer to the world of streaming, at least as of late. Uh, and I've been to a couple of his streams, very chill, also another Canadian. Uh, so please check out Adam, great stuff. And once again, we're kind of doing the speed run of this. We have Arch, my pal Arch, uh, great guy, hanging out in our streams, uh, more of an artist in terms of like 2D art illustrations, but he wanted to take part and be a part of this event. So he did this Mewtwo with the, sorry, Mew. Ooh, don't want to expose myself as a Pokemon noob here. This is Mew, if I'm not mistaken, uh, on top of uh, the ball. And this is like his first model kit in a number of years, many, many years. And he wanted to, as I said, take part in this, but it was a little hard to, to find the things that he wanted to use given where he lives like it was it's just they just don't really have that many hobby shops around where he's at so he kept on trying and i'm just super happy that he was able to figure it out and get it done so shout out to arch and we snagged him we snagged him we snagged him boys because he ended up buying more pokemon kits after this so we got him we got him and of course oh boy look at this old type old type here with the fantastic, mega festive, mega jolly, mega cheerful uh, Mecha Masume kit made up from two different kits, but I was saying earlier how he just so nicely integrated uh, both of them into a single model and it just feels so unified. And on top of that, the, phot the photography here is, uh, is, is chef's kiss, super, super great work. Uh, no, it's 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 just so well done. Uh, it, it, it's it, remarkable. I do not believe it's photoshopped. It's just 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 shout out to old type. And of course, we have another photo here. And the other thing I was saying was just how if you take all this time, <laughs> it's all Photoshop. If you take your time to to do a paint job and a build and make it as nice as possible. It, it's worth your while also taking a good photograph. Oh, it, <laughs> it is all photographed. It's very nice. It's not something that I even really considered, but uh, I just liked how it was, how it, you pulled it off. And here's Rex Pat's uh, Suleta, Suleta Forgetta. And I believe in the next shot, we've got the welcome to the slam, welcome to the jam uh, <laughs> uh, dunk here. There was like a meme format, which I didn't include, but it was, I'm not even familiar with the meme, but very nice job from Rex Pat. And of course, looky, looky, we've got Eddie Spaghetti. with the blessed some people might say cursed but i will say blessed saitama mixed with uh, vegeta parts uh painted all the flesh tone as well as the water slide decals which come from a itasha car uh kit decal kit uh and he applied them and we got some booty i like this one plum 
Yeah, you like how about this? What are your feelings on this part here in particular? Very nice job from uh <laughs> from from Eddie and and the thing that I want to say is that uh this is so inherently intrinsically Eddie Spaghetti that if this is if if this got a little chuckle out of you, if this sort of this this made you sit up in your chair a little bit uh please check out more of eddie spaghetti's work because i believe that 2024 is going to be the year of eddie uh many many good things are coming from him so so please stay tuned like a cheeky one <laughs> the bear claws idea from ease boobs oh my god you just you just unlocked a core memory for me eddie uh Wow, I just traveled through time and suddenly remembered uh, Eve. <laughs> Thank you for that. And here's Carmi's truck. Oh, it's a little, it's a little red Christmas truck hauling a Christmas tree. Shout out to Carmi. Very festive, and I was saying how uh, she was doing this under less than optimal conditions she was uh under the weather as well as as well as uh had some roadblocks along the way with building this but uh she persisted and carried on and of course the meme is is absolutely on point uh so shout out to carmy <laughs> yeah so good plum actually yeah so I, it was plum i saw plum posting about red trucks on on twitter and i was like this is a thing because it's like I'm seeing it everywhere and then much later uh, Carmi showed me the meme very funny yeah yeah you're obsessed with the, this Christmas so awesome shout out to Carmi the memory is on point but also this is super jolly super festive sounds like your uh, your dad really enjoyed it too but I love uh, I love the open mouth love it good job Carmi and here we have purple, purple with the more reflective, more contemplative build. And uh, he was exp explaining the concept behind it regarding the how it's about war and how war begins to fall back and nature uh, starts to reclaim its place. And I just really love the concept of this, very thoughtful. And again, this is uh, a testament to the things you can do with Gunpla, the things you can do in this hobby and, and the setting uh, to express all sorts of different things. You can express uh, Saitama with the with the booty out and Eve's, Eve's paw print booby tattoos. And then you can do something like this. And then you can do something like this because not only did Purple do one fire build because that is just i love the moss i love all the effects that uh, you did with it purple but then purple would go on to do a second build with a olive looking mecca in a martini glass and this is a resin pour uh and it's just fun you know and you can do so much with the hobby and that's what i really love you can never get truly bored of it because there's so many different things you can do and the fact that one person did both of these is just so cool. And I love this shot too. Because it reminds me of like a hot spring. <laughs> the shot to purple. Good gerb. Showing why gun plus freedom. Yes. And here we have Arctic Gazer with the hand painted uh, gun. Sorry, not Gundam. Dragon Ball and Pokeball mashup. And uh, Arctic Gazer was kind of talking about how like he didn't like the or rather that he would he feels like he would need to get an airbrush to get the finish that he wants but i would say that i actually like the finish that he's achieved here it's not something where i find it's 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 a point of distraction and it's something that you could even possibly lean into more if you so desire but the idea of of combining uh goku from dragon ball and a pokeball is very fun and very festive and we've got uh, some balancing, a uh, balancing act on it too. It's a good job. Gundam is the little green all Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> shout out to, to my brother. I was just saying how you can do a very meditative, contemplative piece about war and peace and nature. And then you can do a Mecha Masume kit. And my brother, shout out to my brother Nightra for doing this. He ended up being... 
uh, this this is what made him a fan of Mecha Masume. Not this in particular, but he bought the base parts of Lionel, and then was actually ended up, much to his surprise, uh, really enjoying that model. And then he ended up buying some more extra parts, top tier. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to Night Trap. I had no idea this is what he was going to be doing with it. Uh, and this all is balancing on its own. Like the way it's posed and everything is literally balanced properly. How he got that pole? The pole is actually a runner, if I'm not mistaken. And so some of the little extra nubbage, he kind of just nicely filed off. It looks very clean. And then the, for reasons, let's go, Carmi, let's go. And uh, he used the metallic wax paint. Uh, you, some of you might recall that last year I used the AK Interactive metallic wax paint for the interior of my Master Grade ball. And likewise, he used uh, this. So yeah, shout out to Night Trap. This next one here comes from a old college friend of mine that actually has a podcast about being a new gaming dad. Uh, you can get to there through the link tree here, New Dad Gaming. And I invited him to be a part of this because for this entire time that I've known him, which is a very long time, mind you, uh, I had I had just known him as someone that plays video games, that likes video games, like I like video games. And then suddenly this year, he was talking about Gunpla and building Gundams and stuff like that. And I was like, yo, hold up a second. You like Gundams too? Let's go, dude. Like, let's let's get on the, uh, let's get on the, uh, Gunpla ball drop train. So, yeah, he ended up doing this, which is also another nod to a meme. It's the meme, uh, I don't have the video handy, but it's the meme of Squirtle playing the saxophone. And that's what sort of the, uh the the colors are supposed to be evocative of but not only did jeff um uh create this but his 13 year old also wanted to take part in the fun and he made uh this 30 minute missions kit and i believe uh it has been now newly christened christened spider New Year's Eve, Spider NYE. Hey, it's Maggie Schneider. How's it going, Maggie Schneider? How's it going? How's it going? But yeah, 13 year old. And that's the really neat thing about uh, about the hobby in general is that it's something you can share, it's something that you can do with your family, not just not just something that you can, you know, haul away and, and do on your own. It's something you can do and stream in front of a bunch of people like I do, or you can uh, share it with your, your kids, which is really neat. Maggie Schneider is fine and continue building. I'm I'm having my beverage right now. Here we have Nocte Visenia's build. Again, the theme was festive and he ran with it using the GOG, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and making it look like Santa. And I believe that's pretty much the perfect model to be Santa Claus, right? Hey, Blah, yeah, Santa Claus, yeah. Um, it's it's got the appropriate amount of girthiness of jovial heft and i'm seeing some pipe cleaners used to kind of ac accent the the cuffs and everything so fantastic job this is something that nocta visenia aka novice uh was able to do uh in advance he because he was going to be traveling uh so he did this uh I think weeks in advance to get ready for uh, yesterday. So shouts to him for for being super prepared. Good job. Needs more Zaku, but ah. girth. I know that's one of those words, girth. Yeah, <laughs> it's just so jolly. Santa Claus, and this is mine. Um, the concept being a kind of like a mech suit that was reclaimed after war and would be used for the purposes of firing off uh you know the fireworks for things like new year's eve um i had kit bashed it with some other parts to give it that look that it was you know many parts were kind of added on and clomped onto it over the years and and it does have a bit of weathering but i didn't want to take it too far and again uh 
I think that the the thing that I'm pretty most happy with is is just the overall look of it. It it does have a a kind of asymmetrical kind of herky jerky junky look to it, but overall I do like the overall impression that it makes. Uh, creating the background with the with the holes to shine LED lights. There's a video on it on my Twitch as well as Instagram where you can see the light shine through it. I'm very happy with that. Ba -ba -ba. There's the uh, the back side there with the uh, the package the the container which has all the little fireworks. I made a couple of fireworks items uh, which I don't have a picture of here in this slide because it's not about me. It's about you guys. Uh, this is Mecha Girl Vanilla's entry. Uh, she is an artist and graphic designer, and she just wanted to take part in in this. I. I always enjoy having her hanging out here on my stream, so it was really neat to have someone outside of the world of building uh, do something for uh, the the Gumpla Ball Drop. Uh, we kind of talked about it that this could be a kind of key art, and uh, yeah, she did a really great job with that. And it does there is like a 3D art of it like rotating around and stuff which is really cool. And lastly, we have Kawai Build's uh, uh, entry here, which is uh, practically nearly done. I believe that uh, she intends to finish it later today, but uh, a clear ball. So now this is, I believe, the the second ball in the ball drop. Um, and yeah, the combination of, of pink and the clear parts uh, just looks aesthetic. Yes, it's so aesthetic. Do you remember when people were using it, the phrase that way? Like, like as if it was a quantitative statement. It is aesthetic. Finishing, finishing it as we speak. Let's go, Kawhi. Say it with your chest. But yeah, so good. Love, love how you pulled that off, Kawhi. Kawhi here is a big fan of clear kits. I don't have, I have yet to build a full clear kit, but I do because of Kawhi, I did buy one in the summer, and then just recently I was gifted another partially clear kit. So yes, uh, we are going to get into that. And I mean, look at the results. When you combine clear kits with painting, you can make something fuego like that. So cool. And I think that's just about it. So I think that might do it for me.